is Melanie Lee and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about the weird period products that I have tried over the years. If you guys have followed my channel, you know I have really weird periods. I have pretty painful periods, really, really heavy periods, blood clots, all the fun stuff you can imagine. Plus, my gynecologist does think I do have endometriosis, but that can't be confirmed or denied because I have not done any diagnostic testing yet just because I've been focusing on a lot of other health issues that I've been having, uh, which I will update you guys soon on that because I'm just now starting to figure out what is going on. I just wanted to go over all of the random products that I have tried. Firstly, I have tried pads maybe a few times when I was sleeping. If you guys have used pads, I don't know how you do it. I have tried wearing pads maybe at least five times since I was 12, which is when I started my period. I just cannot do it. I've tried wearing them, and I think the majority of times that I have tried them is when I was trying to sleep in them. They just don't work. They fold in half and I bleed down my leg. They do not sit and like, like this. They sit like this and they just fold over and it just, they just don't work. So that means I traditionally wear tampons. Now I have used at least 10 to 15 different tampon brands. Most of them just don't work. I have to wear supers. Even then I overflow in at least the first two days of my period. About every 45 minutes I'll overflow a super tampon. Well these tampons are from Real. I got these at Target. They're organic cotton tampons with BPA free applicators. Probably my favorite tampon that I've ever used. Not sponsored whatsoever. I just wanted to tell you guys this because this is what I've been using for the last three periods uh, and I really like them. So this is from Target. It's real. I do really suggest these. Firstly, I have used and tried the Livia device. Now you put this on where you're having cramps and it basically gives you little shocks like a TENS machine and it's supposed to change your mind from thinking about period pain or cramp pain to this pain, but these aren't really that painful. Um, I would first like to mention, do not buy Livia. Uh, this product sucks. The company sucks. Everything about them sucks. I did make a video on them, but I was uneducated on the company and the way that they work and their customer service. And you can read, guys, I have hundreds of comments on that video talking about how terrible of a brand they are and how they don't give back to people and they will charge you and never send products and crazy stuff like that. So I do not recommend this, although they do have very similar products to this on Amazon. People have said that the tennis machine works way better. So I highly suggest to check that out. But as far as the Olivia one, I think this one sketches out and can shock you sometimes. I'm just being honest. That has happened to me a few times and I did make a updated video about the Livy device and everyone's comments on my channel If you guys are interested in that watch it. My next product is period underwear These are actually pretty cute They have like a little lacing on the side and they fit just like a bathing suit and I find this actually really really comfortable I got this from Livola I believe it is called and I really enjoy this. So the reason that I like using this is because on like day three or four or five, sometimes six, I bleed pretty lightly at night on those days. The first like two, three days are heavy. Like I need to let the red river run in the shower for hours. I am not joking. I have stayed home from school when I was in high school and just sat in the bathtub for hours on my phone just letting this red river flow because there's nothing I can do about it. So when you're just changing tampons like all day, it tends to get kind of sore. I don't want to call it like irritated or sore, just like the muscle gets kind of more tense. So I like wearing this at night because it, I don't have to put one in and I just bleed straight into this and in the morning I'll just wring it out in the shower or something and then I'll put it in the washer, wash it and wear it again the next night. And these have actually been really, really comfortable and it's been so much easier wearing these than what I've tried in the past wearing pads at night. These are awesome. I actually really do recommend trying the period underwear. Again, these are from Livola. It came with a lot of different styles. It's really stretchy, it's very comfortable, and it just fits kind of like a bathing suit. I did not notice any blood anywhere on my sheets. I did not put shorts over these or anything. I've only used this at night just because I feel kind of uncomfortable wearing these with like shorts or anything else. Plus, having anything in there tends to give me just a little bit more cramps. So at night, I do find more cramp relief when I'm wearing period underwear. The next thing I've tried, and I'm sure you guys have tried this too, menstrual cup. 
bucks. I bought two of them. These are expensive. They're like $30 each. It's kind of cool because technically if you love it, you never have to buy tampons again. Not in my case though. I got one from the brand Fleck. This one's cool because it has a little ring and it, we pull down and it automatically breaks the seal right here. It's easier to take out. I found this to be really hard and hard to squish. So I found this to actually be uncomfortable. Like I said, my muscles get so tense and I think down there gets so tense inside that it just won't let anything up. Like sometimes I have a hard time putting in a tampon because it's just so tight and tense and I can like feel that when I'm pushing it in. They're really tiny. They're really not that big. It's a little intimidating your first time I'd say. It's supposed to pop open like that and then when you take it out you pull the string and it breaks the seal and you pull it out. My muscles were just so tight that it would do this and it would definitely create holes around it and I would just leak through it. And having this to go in there it was hard to make it sit comfortable. It was hard to get it like back enough or out enough and I feel like majority of people online like swear by it and love it and I bought them and I was like I'm gonna love this. This is gonna change my life. You don't have to change it for 12 hours. It can hold three to four tampons worth of blood in this little cup right this one definitely is a lot more comfortable but it's harder to take out because now you have this tiny little thing here and technically you're not supposed to pull on it to get it out with these you're supposed to reach all the way up in squeeze here and pull out and I could just never get my fingers all the way up here I gave it a shot for like five to six months I think everyone should at least try it and see if it works for them but for me it just I don't know, it doesn't work that well. So another weird one that I've tried is currently in a little bag, which I will open for you guys. This is probably the scariest thing I have ever tried. This is a disc. It is stiff, like it is hard to squeeze down. Basically you squeeze this down really tight and you shove it back there as far as you can go. And like in a weird position, how can you have a stiff ring up in you? I could not figure this out. I tried it once and I was like, never again. So something else that I really like, now this is just a kind of side one. I got these from Target. This is by Good Wipes. It's called Down There Wipes. And this is treat your JJ like it's on vacay. And I got these in the Shea Butter Coconut scent and they're all natural, all good, all that kind of fun stuff. I just like to use these on days when my period is just super heavy and I'm at work or something and I overflow. I always have one of these in my period bag. That way it's just really easy to clean up when it's super messy, which is very typical for the first two to three days of my period. So these are a life changer. I really love the smell of these and they're really good at cleaning. And a plus tip while using these, sometimes if I forget to use deodorant or if I'm just extra stinky that day, I will take these and put it on my armpits which freshens them up so quickly and then reapply some deodorant or sometimes just not use deodorant and just keep it fresh with these. Something else that I've been doing for my period over the last four or five years that I definitely think helps, but I've been more consistent with it this month and I've noticed such difference on my last period, which is maca powder. So you can find maca powder pretty much any health food store, whole food, sometimes even your local like smoothie bars. Awesome at stabilizing your hormones. And I think I should mention, I am not on birth control. I have tried birth control years ago and it just did not work for me. I probably will never take it again. It just wrecked me. So this is kind of just like my alternative to it. This is maca powder. I take these in a pill form. Like I said, you can find maca powder at like any health food store. It comes in powder and you just add it to smoothies. It tastes a little funky. If it's in a smoothie, you can't taste it at all. I actually think it kind of tastes good. Kind of tastes like a campfire. I notice way less cramping, less tightness, and even less bleeding and less hormonal acne, less PMS. Now what's different about this one is because this one was prescribed to me by my naturopath because I explained to her you know my periods are terrible and I do not want to take birth control so this one specifically is, is prescribed by doctors only and the reason for that is this maca powder and this lab that creates it picked a certain variation of the maca powder so there's maca powder is specifically for menstruating women which is what I am currently taking there's also maca powder specifically for women who are going through menopause and for men so if you're a man and you're thinking about taking maca powder or if you know a man who's thinking about taking maca powder, it can be absolutely transforming for men, which I've heard. It can help their testosterone levels, erectile dysfunction, and all kinds of cool stuff. But it also helps men and women become more fertile. So just throwing that out there, you might want to watch out if you're taking maca powders. Really like it. So another product that I have tried is CBD oil. Now I've taken this 
for anxiety. I had my house broken into when I was home and it kind of freaked me out a bit. And it was really, really hard for me to sleep and I was going through a lot of stress. Uh, so I decided to try taking the CBD oil tincture under the tongue and I noticed that it was slightly helping. However, it did make my period 10 days late. So then I waited a few more months, I started taking it again, and then on that month again, it made my period at least 10 days late. I tried it a few months later, I took it for two months straight, and both times it made my period 10 days late. It is the weirdest thing ever, so if you guys have experienced CBD making your period late, please let me know, because I cannot find it anywhere on the internet. Like, that's a thing, but it was a thing for me. So taking it orally didn't work as well. Instead of the oil, I started using a CBD, uh, a little balm that you can put on in certain areas, and this really, really helped. So anyways, that goes over all of the weird period products that I've tried. I'm sure there's so many more weird period products out there on the market. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these or have tried any other ones. I'd love to know you guys' thoughts. I read every single comment here on my channel. So please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hit the little notification bell button. That way you guys can stay notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.